Cancer cells are killed in lab experiments and tumor growth reduced in mice, using a new approach that turns a nanoparticle into a Trojan horse that causes cancer cells to self-destruct. A research team at the Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, NTU Singapore, has found. The researchers created their Trojan horse nanoparticle by coating it with a specific amino acid, L-phenylalanine, that cancer cells rely on, along with other similar amino acids, to survive and grow. L-phenylalanine is known as an essential amino acid as it cannot be made by the body and must be absorbed from food, typically from meat and dairy products. Studies by other research teams have shown that cancer tumor growth can be slowed or prevented by starving cancer cells of amino acids. Scientists believe that depriving cancer cells of amino acids, for example through fasting or through special diets lacking in protein, may be viable ways to treat cancer. However, such strict dietary regimes would not be suitable for all patients, including those at risk of malnutrition or those with cachexia, a condition arising from chronic illness that causes extreme weight and muscle loss. Furthermore, compliance with the regimes would be very challenging for many patients. Seeking to exploit the amino acid dependency of cancer cells but avoid the challenges of strict dietary regimes, the NTU researchers devised a novel alternative approach. They took a silica nanoparticle designated as generally recognized as safe by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and coated it with L-phenylalanine and found that in lab tests with mice it killed cancer cells effectively and very specifically, by causing them to self-destruct. The anti-cancer therapeutic nanoparticle is ultra-small, with a diameter of 30 nanometers, or approximately 30,000 times smaller than a strand of human hair, and is named, nanoscopic phenylalanine porous amino acid mimic, or nano-PPAAM, their findings, published recently in the scientific journal. Assistant Professor Dalton Tay from the School of Materials Science and Engineering, lead author of the study, said, Against conventional wisdom, our approach involved using the nanomaterial as a drug instead as a drug carrier. Here, the cancer-selective and killing properties of nano-PPAAM are intrinsic and do not need to be activated by any external stimuli. The amino acid L-phenylalanine acts as a Trojan horse, a cloak to mask the nanotherapeutic on the inside. By removing the drug component, we have effectively simplified the nanomedicine formulation and may overcome the numerous technological hurdles that are hindering the bench to bedside tra. Tumor growth in mice with human triple negative breast cancer cells was also significantly reduced compared to control models. Further investigations showed that the amino acid coating of nano-PPAAM helped the nanoparticle to enter the cancer cells through the amino acid transporter cell L81. Once inside the cancer cells, nano-PPAAM stimulates excessive reactive oxygen species ROS production, a type of reactive molecule in the body, causing cancer cells to self-destruct while remaining harmless to the healthy cells. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.